Now to that GMA exclusive on masks and your health. We teamed up with experts for an eye-opening demonstration showing that how you wear your mask directly impacts your safety and those around you. Eva Pilgrim joins us with that. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, most of us have to wear a mask at some point in the week, but some communities are taking it a step further, now requiring that your mask cover your nose and your mouth and fit snugly on the side of your face. And as you're about to see, those kinds of details can make a difference. This morning, exclusive demonstration showing how fit and placement are crucial when wearing a mask. GMA investigates teaming up with engineers at Florida Atlantic University to find out where particles escape on loose fitting masks and why those who don't cover their nose, half maskers are not protecting anyone, including themselves. First up, the popular blue surgical mask. Using a mannequin that can simulate a cough or sneeze by releasing liquid particles, researchers loosely placing the mask on the mannequin's face. We noticed that there were droplets escaping uh, primarily from the gap. Uh, along the top edge of the mask. Now look, after pushing that metal strip down around the nose to seal that gap, fewer particles escaping there, but an increase in particles leaking from the sides of the mask by the cheeks, but overall a significant reduction. Any metallic wires or strips that are present, uh, you should always try to press it down. And watch what happens when a mask does not cover the nose, what's called half masking. We see droplets escaping from everywhere. When you're half masking, you're keeping your nose exposed, which makes it easier for the virus particles to enter. See the difference in escaping particles, wearing a mask properly versus half masking. Now, the homemade cotton mask made with multiple layers as the CDC recommends, but this one without a metal strip. A surprising reveal of where the particles escape. They usually start moving backward behind the person who's wearing the mask. Researchers say the particles can easily get carried around depending on airflow conditions. That's why it's important to practice social distance even when wearing masks. The mask with the least escape of particles, the N95, the gold standard for healthcare professionals. Healthcare professionals go through a fitting process so that the N95 fits the face most effectively. The researchers say these masks have a heavier metal strip that closes any gaps. It reinforces how important it is to wear masks appropriately and to cover your mouth and your nose. Now, even though the N95 performed the best, those are supposed to be reserved for frontline health care workers. The CDC's general public recommendation are those fabric masks with two layers. George. OK, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.